guys, it's Ifaema. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from today's title, I'm filming another pack with me. This is my third pack with me on this channel. And this is the first time that I'm actually going to be checking in a suitcase. <laughs> so I'm really excited to show you guys what I would take with me on a longer trip. Before I get into that, if you're new here, my name is Ifaema and I'm a Nigerian content creator. I make videos all about home, life, and style. If you like the vibe over here, I would love it if you consider subscribing to my channel. I upload new videos every single week. And if you're a returning viewer, hello, welcome back. So as you could probably see in the title, I am going to Greece. I'm going to be in Greece for seven days. That's right, a whole week. So I thought it would be the perfect excuse to get myself a larger suitcase. You guys would have known that I picked up my Ramoa Classic Cabin S. I got this in Germany and I've been using it and loving it ever since then. So I decided that it would only be right to complete my case collection. So I went into the Ramoa store at the Harrods here in London and I was able to have a look at all the cases and the classic range and I settled here on the large. So this is the large check case. I think that's the full name. Hold on, I can confirm. It is the classic check-in enlarge. Actually, let me cut this off because this will be quite useful to tell you guys all the stats. Oh my God, the sky is so blue and I could just see a plane shooting across my window. It's gonna be me in a few days. So for me, the medium was ruled out fairly quickly. When I had a look at what it looked like on the inside, I just thought this is going to be too small for me. So for me, it was between the large size and the trunk size. I really liked the trunk size and the trunk side is actually significantly larger in terms of volume, what you can fit in it, but the trunk was significantly more expensive. So I decided to go for the large and I think I really made the right decision now that I look at them because they're the exact same shape from the front. I think the trunk is slightly narrower, but it's wider. So yeah, this just looks very aesthetically pleasing to my eye. So I'm very happy that I went with these two. So a little bit of stats for you. This is the classic check-in in large. It is 79 by 53 by 28 centimeters. It weighs six kilos and it is 84 liters and it says that it can fit a maximum load weight of 25 kilos. So all that information is actually on the Ramoa website, but I just thought that I would read off what was on the tag. And another reason why I decided to go for the large over the medium was that the medium was 100 pounds cheaper and the capacity was significantly smaller and the large was only half a kilo heavier. So I just, thought that it was better value when you kind of weighed all of that up. And then another reason why I thought the large would be more conducive was because the large I can pretty much use for any sort of trip. So if I'm traveling for a week and up, if I'm traveling during the winter where I want to take several coats and cardigans and jumpers, like things that are that take up a lot more volume, it would be more suitable. And I just thought that it would be a much more versatile case. That's not to knock anyone that has the medium. The medium is a beautiful case, but for me and how I like to pack, I just felt that I would get more use out of the large. And I've also got questions about why I chose the small in the cabin over the standard cabin. I thought I explained it in my last pack with me, but just in case it wasn't clear, because I fly on budget airlines, so like Ryanair and EasyJet, the small size is actually the size that is compliant with those airlines, so not the standard size. And to be honest, between the standard size and the small size, it was literally like, I think a four centimeters difference in depth. So the suitcase is actually the exact same size in terms of length and breadth, or breadth and width. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> the standard size is slightly deeper. And in terms of what you could fit extra, the sales assistant told me they would probably translate to an extra sweater or something like that, or two extra tops. So from that perspective, I just thought it wasn't worth it, I like having that stress. Having said that, the last time I went to Barcelona, my friend Miriam, she brought the Away Bigger carry-on, which is 100% not compliant on Ryanair, and she had no problems. So I don't think the airlines are as strict as people make them out to be, but I mean, proceed with caution. I never want to be in a position where I'm forced to check in my cabin case at the gate because I just know that that would upset me. So I wanted to play it safe and make sure that it would be compliant on all airlines. So 
I went for the small size. Okay, so now let's get into packing. You guys know that I am a list maker when it comes to packing and I have my list, the same list that I showed you in my very first ever pack with me. But this time around, because I'm going for a whole week and not just two or three days, I have way more clothes to take this time. Yes, yeah, seven days and seven nights. I'm hoping to get at least 14 outfits out of all my clothes that I've packed. So I'm not gonna try things on because a lot of the clothes that I'm taking on this trip are clothes that I actually have tried on in my last holiday summer haul. So if you wanna see what the clothes look like on, I will link that video in the cards for you. This is the chaotic mess that is my suitcase. I hope you guys can see as much as possible. I've basically just been throwing stuff in here for the past week or so and now is the time to organize everything and make sure that it all kind of makes sense. I'm still trying to decide about a couple of pieces but basically I have nighttime dresses over here. So I have three evening dresses that I wanna take. I have two skirts, I'm taking this one because I just think it's really fun and it's the kind of skirt that you could only really wear on holiday and then I have this simple black one which is a lot easier to style and could also work for an evening look. The other bottoms I'm taking are these denim shorts and I also have a pair of trousers. I've decided not to take jeans but I'm going to be wearing a black pair of trousers on the plane. I also need to pack my leggings. Hold on, let me go look for those. So in terms of tops, those are a bit scattered. Two linen shirts in white and in this tan color. And then I'm also thinking about taking this one. I don't need it. <laughs> I have these two crop tops in brown and in white. I'm also gonna take those. And then I have all these bodysuits. <laughs> so I'm taking a black bodysuit, a nude bodysuit, a brown bodysuit, and two white bodysuits. So those are all the tops I'm taking. And then in this section here, I have daytime dresses. So I'm taking three long dresses, one short dress, and two jumpsuits. That's what I have over here. And then in this corner, I think it's just about off camera, I have some pajamas. So this is the largest size. And what I'm going to do now is just roll up my long dresses and I'm going to roll up my jumpsuits and put those in here. Okay, in this medium one, I think I'm going to put in all my tops. but this could fit here, which is quite handy. This, I could actually fit my nighttime dresses in here too. So I have four more and they're all kind of small. So that's a bit of a problem. I think, oh, I forgot this jumper. I still wanna take this jumper. Based on what I have left, if I make one of these, I can underwear one and the swimsuit one. Then I have one for trousers. Oh, this one's quite deep. Okay, that's handy. I think I should put trousers in here. Leggings. So those are my shorts and skirts. These trousers on the other hand did not fit. I'm gonna put my pajamas in here. So inside this bag, I've just put in some sunglasses. Inside this little bag. I just have like bra solution stuff. I'm also taking my Twilly. I think it'll be a really pretty accessory to have. And then I'm just going to put that back in the box. And that will hopefully keep this bag protected. So that'll keep the lid from opening. So that's handy. So I'm going to put that on this side. So here I've laid out all my makeup. If you want to see how I use all these products, to accomplish the makeup look that I've been doing recently, then I will link a tutorial for you guys in the cards. But this is all the makeup I'm taking on this trip. And I'm missing one thing, my setting spray. Ooh. I 
and then I'll put my tweezers in here too because I use my tweezers to do my makeup. So yeah, this is all my makeup. I'm missing my liquid eyeliner and some eyelashes that I've ordered but haven't arrived yet. These plastic bags all came from Primark, by the way. I got them a couple months ago, but they're in their travel section. So in here, I'm taking some sunscreen. I also have this little travel size deodorant, so I'm gonna take that as well. And then I also had this um, insect repellent, but I don't know if I need this for grease. I'm gonna Google it and check. I'm also gonna put some fragrance samples. I'm going to actually put some extra cotton pads in here just so I have enough, because I am going away for a week this time. And then I have my reusable shaver, and I'm going to have to take some spare blades. I have some toothpaste. I just had this laying around, so I'm gonna take it. Face wash, face wipes, all that stuff, I'm actually out. So I'm going to have to go to the store and complete this. All right, so I've just done some research and it turns out that bug spray is a good idea to pack to go to Greece. So I'm gonna take these two. This one I actually got in Mexico. I think the hotel must have given it to us and there's a little bit in here. And then this one, I've just got very little in here. I'll link everything down below if it's not focusing, but this is just the bite and sting cream. The next thing I wanted to do is just pack some jewelry. I'm just gonna put everything in here and hope they don't get too tangled. I mean, I never wear these like really big earrings but I was thinking like these could be fun. Like large hoops are always a good idea. I might put all my jewelry in this little pouch here. These are all my little pouches that are going. So now what I really wanna do is go through my list and see what I haven't packed and what I need to remember to pack. So I wanted to show you guys a really easy way to pack hats. So I have two hats I'm gonna be taking and I've just stacked them into each other like this. And all of this is space that you can actually fit stuff in. So in here, I'm just folding my workout clothes. And if you just put your hat, the base of your suitcase like that, put your hat down, and then you can put all your stuff back on top. In here, I have my swimwear. I have all my underwear. This, I showed you guys yesterday. I've been going back and forth with which shoes to take, but I've settled on a black pair of flats a tan pair of flats. I'm also going to be taking some black heels because these will go with everything. Someone actually commented once that you don't have to put your shoes together if it's taking up too much space. And I thought that was really smart. Like I've never thought of just going like that. <laughs> like my brain just doesn't work like that, but I think I'll try and put them together. That just makes me a bit more satisfied for some reason. These are all my sanitary towels. I'm going to pop some of my cloth masks. This is my knee band. I don't know if I've mentioned on this channel, but I actually have a knee injury. So I'm just gonna pop that in here as well. Okay, this is just the miscellaneous stuff. I have earplugs in here, floss, a shower cap, scissors, earbuds. So I'm just gonna find a little corner for those because the bras I do not want to compress. Now I'm going to get all my toiletries and all those pouches because all of that's finally ready to pack. I don't think all this is gonna fit. <laughs> Maybe this needs to go like there and this can go here. I think it's so funny that I was really considering buying the medium suitcase. Like I'm literally completely out of space. I can like put some stuff in my husband's suitcase. His suitcase is completely empty. Taking these black workout trainers and inside my workout trainers, I'm just gonna stuff like eight pairs of socks. This is what my suitcase is looking like. I think we're officially definitely done packing. I forgot to pack my Javianas. I just went through my list and realized that they were in my bag. Like this isn't typically the sort of thing that I would buy, but I just thought it was really appropriate for Greece.
I've done this one wrong. I have to say this design is a little bit faffy, like it's useful, but I almost feel like there must be a better way to design this compression board system. Moment of truth. <laughs> I'm going to need to set my combination, which I'm gonna do off camera. Let me see if it feels heavy. I think it feels okay, but I always think it feels okay and then it's heavy. <laughs> this is my cabin case and it's pretty simple. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm taking in here. And here I have my brown Celine bag and inside this bag I've put three books. <laughs> and then this is my Chanel bag. Those are the two nice bags I'm taking on this trip. I'm taking my laptop. I put all my vitamins in here. This is my travel adapter. And then this is my travel tripod. And that's all I'm taking in there. I'm using my beach bag as my traveling tote bag. And this is the Loewe basket bag. And in here I have some masks. So I got us a pack of FFP2 masks. I think these are also called KN95 masks for the plane. And then I also have these disposable masks that actually I don't need to have both. I'm gonna put that in here. I have some snacks for the plane. This is just my mini pochette with some toiletries. I have some antibacterial wipes, my passport, some tissues, my Invisalign tray. This is going to be the piece of luggage I put underneath the plane, basically. There's one more thing I wanna do, because I got a protective sleeve for my check-in case. Wow, it actually fits. Pretty impressed. All right guys, so that comes to the end of my pack with me. These videos seem to do really well on my channel, so I'm really happy that there's so many people out there that love watching pack with me videos as much as I love packing. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to know what I get up to while I am in Greece, don't worry because I plan on vlogging my trip and that will most likely be released after this video. I'm going to be going to Athens and Santorini and I'm going with Eben, my husband. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so excited. So if you guys wanna see what we get up to on our trip, make sure you stay tuned for that video. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And of course, if you've made it to the end and you haven't already subscribed, you might as well. I'll see you guys in my next one very soon. Stay blessed, stay safe and take care.